Hi guys, it's Doc from the barn. You may notice I'm now sat in the beast. It's a lovely place to be, I love it. Now, what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna talk you through uh, a requested thing um, from another RX-8 owner on how to install a rear view mirror. I'm looking up there because it is there. Um, the rear view mirror in question is a frameless rear view mirror from a GT86. Now, um, purely a cosmetic modification, obviously the stock rear view mirror in RX-8 is sufficient, um, but I'm a bit of a punt and I really like, I test drove a GT86 years ago, and I really liked the frameless look that it gave. So uh, it's a really cheap, easy to do modification. So let's crack on. Um, so first things first on the R3, you pop off the plastic cover from the rain sensor. Um, it's really easy to do. It's literally, as you saw there, flathead screwdriver in between the two panels and they pop apart. As you can see, there's two little plastic clips in there and they literally just click together. Um, on the Series 1, I believe that you don't need to do that, um, but obviously please have a look. Then following on from that, on the R3, there are uh, there is the rain sensor for the automatic wipers and automatic headlights. Um, so you just pop those two clips out. There's another on the other side, which you can't see in that camera angle. I can't see either, it would appear. Cool, there you go. And then that should just swing down like that. And then what you can't really see in this shot, but I will show you in a moment. There's a tiny little notch just here um, in the wind, uh, rear view mirror mount. Okay, so the tool I'm going to be using is a modified Allen key. As you can see, it's got a slight curve to it. Um, series one owners don't need to do this. The only reason I'm doing it is because of this little pad here. Um, this is actually stuck to the windscreen and these little things here work for the rain sensor. Um, if you look, they've got loads of little things in. Um, that detect the light level, uh, I believe that's this one, and the rain uh, across a wider surface, which is this one. Uh, Series 1 RX-8s, at least in the UK, don't have auto wipers and auto headlights, so you don't have this problem. You can just use a straight Allen key. This is a 2.5mm. So what you need to do is just push it in, and then uh, I'll show you the base of the mirror when we get it off. Um, there's literally just a metal tab at the back. If you just push it, and then off it comes like that. Um, it slides upwards, and as you can see here, um, it's this little metal thing just here. Um, what you're trying to do is push your Allen key against that so that it straightens it up and pushes it that way. Um, it then just sits on a little friction surface here uh, on the be metal base which is stuck to the windscreen. And let's transfer to removing the mirror. Hi guys, and now we are indoors. Um, so here's the rear view mirror which I removed from my R3. Uh, it's the GT86 mirror which I've had before, um, however, I don't know if you can see very well in the screen, but there's a bit of discoloration around the edge, a few scratches and stuff. I bought this second hand very cheap. Um, just a bit of a close up there of the uh, mount there, so you can see you need to push this tab upwards. It's quite stiff, but uh, just a little flathead screwdriver, or whatever, through this hole will do the job. Um, now, the way to get it off is a bit of brute strength and ignorance, which is always what you want to hear when you're working with glass. Now, what you need to do is you need to pop the ball out of the socket. So you can see it there. Um, the best way to do this is if you twist it sideways and just put a little bit of force on it and out it pops, just like that. It will bend the frame ever so slightly as you can see there. And it's just this little plastic ring here which keeps it all seated and nice. So that's the old mirror off. And then we're going to have to do the same thing to our lovely shiny brand new mirror. Um, at time of filming, these can be had direct from Toyota for about £53 on eBay. Um, if you just search GT86 rear view mirror, um, there's like a, a parts diagram um, image of a rear view mirror and that's this one here. Um, as you can see, that doesn't fit an RX-8, so we're going to have to work on that. So. <clears throat> Again, this one, because it's not been popped off before, like this one had, may take a bit more force. So again, obviously put something down to protect the mirror, and just keep pushing until off it goes. Very, very similar as you can see. Now you can, if you want, for other reasons of which I'm not entirely sure, you could pop the other end off if you wanted to, but I find the, the way that you can get leverage on these much easier. Um, the installation, as I'm sure you've worked out by this point, is the reverse of deinstallation. And it's literally just a case of muller that down. Now it is harder than you may think to start off with. Um, and it does take a lot of force. So that hence again something protective. <clears throat> and there she goes. Now mine did go on easier because I've popped these off uh, on, on a couple of times. So you may need to uh, be a bit more aggressive. Um, the other thing which does help is just a little bit of washing up liquid or whatever. Put a 
tiny, tiny little dab on your finger and then just wipe it around. The only thing to bear in mind with that is that it will take a little while for that to uh, evaporate and go away. So your rear view mirror may not stay exactly where you put it. So let's go outside and reinstall it in the beast. And here we are, back again. I realize that just looks like my thumb. Me, 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 me. Anyway, thumbs up. I have the new rear view mirror, which you will have seen me install just now inside the house. I have to say these things because it's been at least two minutes since I filmed that bit, so apologies. Now I realize it's upside down. Installation is super simple. You literally just slot him on and push it down. It doesn't click because it's a frictive one rather than a, a latch. So you just push it down until it's nice and secure. Obviously feel free to adjust your rear view mirror to point exactly where you want it to. Why are you focusing on that anyway? Focus on that. Thank you. Cameras. Love them. Um, and then it's a case of slot this lovely bad boy on if you're an R3 owner. And it should just slot on and then you push those two little clips back up and then that's nice and stuck. And then the two plastic cowling pieces which we removed earlier. As you can see, they make a lovely shape, just like the rear view mirror. Um, so you can line those up and slide those on. He says. Ta-da! Job jobbed! And that pretty much sums up how to install a rear view mirror from a GT86 into an RX-8, both S1 and S2. Um, that's pretty much it. Really short and sweet video. Um, as I said, it was requested by a couple of people. Uh, if there is anything that you particularly want me to go through, anything that interests you or anything like that, then please comment it down below or drop me a message. And uh, I will try and accommodate, as I have done with the rearview mirror. You're very welcome. Um, next video should be a good one. We're waking the beast. Um, you may notice that it's sat outside. And there's still a few bits and pieces that need to be done. Um, but we shall video this as it will be interesting and many noises. Everybody likes the noise. Cheers, guys.